But we got to go home for the, after our graduation and, of course, be so proud to have my wings. And then I reported to Love Field. I, we were checked out at Love Field, and uh, I didn't have a chance to even fly an airplane from Love Field before I received orders to report to Dodge City, Kansas, to learn to fly the B-26. Um, I can recall we were in ground school that morning, and the man came in and gave to the instructor a, a note, and he said, the following WASP are to report immediately to the commanding officer's office. So he gave the names of the three of us who were to report. <clears throat> so we reported, and he said, I don't understand these orders. You girls are going to be trained to fly a B-26. That is ridiculous. You've had no heavier uh, twin-engine time than AT-17s. The cadets, the men pilots, have to have some time in C-46, C C-40, whatever. Before they ever get in the cockpit of a B-26, you'll probably be driving a gas truck. But here are the orders, so pack your B-4 bags, and within an hour we were gone. <clears throat> um, I can recall we were in ground school that morning, and the man came in and gave to the instructor a, a note, and he said, the following WASP are to report immediately to the commanding officer's office. So he gave the names of the three of us who were to report. <clears throat> so we reported, and he said, I don't understand these orders. You girls are going to be trained to fly a B-26. That is ridiculous. You've had no heavier uh, twin-engine time than AT-17s. The cadets, the men pilots, have to have some time in C-46, C-40, C whatever. Before they ever get in the cockpit of a B-26, you'll probably be driving a gas truck. But here are the orders, so pack your B-4 bags, and within an hour we were gone. When we landed at Dodge City, the, the uh, sergeant that met us drove us what, by what he called the boneyard. Four B-26s had cracked up within the previous month, killing the entire crews. And uh, he said, if you girls have any sense, you'll turn right around and go back where you came from because that thing is a killer. Well, of course, we didn't do that. We reported to his office, a uh, commanding officer. There were three from Romulus, Michigan, three from Long Beach, California, three from Love Field. At any rate, 18 girls. And the commanding officer said, uh, we have had four aircraft crack up within the last month, and now instructors are telling me that the boys are scared. They are giving poor rides on purpose. They don't want to fly the B-26. They want the B-25. Now, G General Hap Arnold and Jacqueline Cochran and I agree that the B-26 is a perfectly safe airplane. We have all the confidence in the world in this aircraft. So we have decided to have the girls fly it as a morale booster so the boys won't be afraid of it. Now, you're not all going to make it. All the cadets, not, uh, the, we, we wash out cadets too. You're not all going to make it. So if you like the field you came from, think it over carefully because I can't guarantee where you'll go. But if you stay, and if you pass, you will be the first women in the history of the Air Force to fly a bomber. So he left the room for us to talk it over, and of course we all wanted to fly it. So he took us then from his office to the adjutant's office to make out our wills. And I didn't know what to say. Here I was living at home, teaching school. I didn't have anything. So I wrote, I thought and thought I knew I had to write something. So I wrote, to my mother and father, I leave my billfold. I didn't mean to be facetious, but I didn't know what to say. Then he took us to the dentist's office, and he made plaster casts of our teeth in case we burned up, we could be identified. And I began to think, do I want to fly this airplane or don't I? Well, they washed out seven, and the 11 of us had finished towed targets for gunners. It was a great airplane. Tell me about